This video was brought to you by Surfshark. Hey everyone, this is Peter from Talk Android. Happy to be back. If you've joined the Galaxy S24 Club, you've got a powerhouse of a phone in your hands. So let's unlock its potential with these 12 awesome first steps. Did you know that Samsung defaults the resolution on your Galaxy S24 Plus or S24 Ultra to Full HD? No? Well, they do, but both displays are capable of showing QHD Plus resolution. And this is how. The first thing is to open up the Settings app. Scroll to Display. There we are. Scroll down to Screen Resolution, like so. And as you can see, it's already preset to FHD Plus resolution. All you need to do is just tap QHD Plus, press Apply, and everything on your home screen will become that little bit sharper and clearer. We all know that Galaxy S24 is full of AI-enhanced features. They're all over the place. We've got circled function, AI-generated wallpapers, you name it. But what if you don't want the AI-enhanced features working all the time? Well, that's easy. Go to Settings. Now we're going to go down to Advanced Features here and then tap on Advanced Intelligence. If you don't want your phone app to use AI to help with language or real-time translations, or you're worried about your data being captured, all you need to do is just select off, and you no longer have to worry about your phone calls, your voice being captured or used. The same goes for the keyboard, interpreter, the Samsung Notes app, voice recorder, the internet browser, or at least Samsung's one, as well as the photo editor. You can also choose to process your data only on the device. So none of your data goes to a cloud-based server, thus protecting your data, your personal privacy, and security even more. Are you tired of feeling exposed online? Worried about who's watching your viewing history? Take control with Surfshark, today's video sponsor. Surfshark shields your online presence, keeping your sensitive data safe from prying eyes. Access your favorite websites and streaming services from anywhere in the world without those annoying restrictions. With apps and extensions for everything from Android phones to TVs and laptops, Surfshark has got you covered. Right now, get a massive 85% off a two-year Surfshark VPN plan, plus two whole months for free. Experience true internet freedom with Surfshark. Visit the link in the description for this deal. Worried about your battery? Don't. If you're the type to leave your phone on charge overnight, as many of us are, there's a way to keep the battery in tip-top condition, and we're going to show you how. So you open up the settings app, tap on device care, tap on battery. Now we're going to tap on battery protection. This option adjusts the charging behavior to extend the lifespan of your battery. It limits battery charging to 80%. And when you tap on adaptive, you've got basic. And that means when your phone is charged to 100%, charging will stop and then restart only when your phone drops to 95%. Adaptive mode learns your pattern of usage and switches between basic and maximum according to what it decides is best. Or you can choose to have maximum on all the time, and that only charges your phone to 80%, regardless of the scenario or situation. And that is the best way to keep your battery in good condition, How often do you reboot your phone? I tend to do it every other day, just to keep things nice and slick. But if you do forget, you can actually schedule a restart on your phone. So let's open up settings, like so. Now we're going to go to device care. Let's tap on auto optimization. You've got some options. Now you can click here to Enable the phone to restart whenever it feels that it needs to. If you've had a particularly heavy session of multi-switching apps, the phone should recognize this and reboot itself when it detects an idle time. Or if you prefer to have it reboot while you're asleep or a specific time of day, you can restart and schedule. And here it is. You can just swipe to your preferred time, tap on the preferred days, every day, once a week, twice a week. That's your choice. And that should keep your S24 running absolutely perfectly. 
while the Galaxy S24 does support 8K recording, Samsung has defaulted the video camera resolution to just full HD at 30 FPS. Let's change that. So the first thing you want to do is open up the camera app, go to video like so, and here we have the options of frames per second, as well as resolution. Now we want Ultra HD at 60 FPS, and that's that. The camera app will now take 4K resolution videos at 60 FPS. It's really that simple. Are you still using the same boring default color palette that was pre-selected for you on the Galaxy S24? Why? Come with me. Let's show you how to make the Galaxy S24 on your own taste. So the first thing I'm going to do, long tap the home screen, like so. Okay, and this brings up the home screen settings. Click on wallpaper and style. Now you're going to see here, there's some options here. You can change the wallpapers, of course. And here we have the color palette. We're going to turn that on and that takes the colors from your wallpapers and you can easily apply them to the icons, menus, everything in your Galaxy S24. Okay, so I've got mostly green here for some reason. I like that color. You can choose to apply it to the app icons like that and click apply. That's going to change the whole outlook of my home screen, just like that. You can play around with it a bit more. You can even just choose your own basic color if you don't want it to match the wallpaper's color scheme, like so. Two-tone here, or you can just click a basic color. And there we have it. We should have quite a green outlook on the uh, home screen. Anyway, you can play around with it to customize it to your choice. Being a flagship smartphone, the Galaxy S24 also supports Dolby Atmos. However, it's not turned on by default. So let's remedy that. We'll open up settings as we always do. And then we're going to go to sounds and vibration. Scroll down a bit and tap on sound quality and effects. All you need to do is just toggle them on like so. You've even got the option of Dolby Atmos for gaming. You'll be getting clearer sound before you know it. By now you probably realize that pressing the power button on the right hand side tends to bring up Bixby instead of the power button. Now we've covered this in a previous video. I feel that this is worth covering yet again because you can customize it just that little bit further. So here it goes. Let's open up settings. Go to Advanced Features, like that, and we're going to tap on Side Button. Okay, so here we've got some options. I already have it set to give the Power Off menu when I press the Side Button. You can, of course, go back to asking it to wake Bixby. When double pressing the Power Button, you can ask it to open up any app of your choosing. Now here it's defaulting to Quick Launch Camera. You can also ask it to open up the Samsung Wallet or you can ask it to open up any other app on your phone. There's no apply, you just tap, work your way back out, and the power button function is back in your control. How many times have you missed a notification on your phone? Did you know that you can actually go back and check what notifications you received and missed? You can. Let me show you how. First thing we need to do is open up the settings app like so, tap on notifications. Okay, now we're going to go to advanced settings and tap on notification history. I've already got it turned on. And because of that, you can see that all notifications are recorded here. And that's how to access the notification history on your Galaxy S24. If you remember Android Honeycomb, you'll remember that we used to be able to have lock screen widgets, which were then taken away because they posed a security risk. However, they're on the comeback, and this is how you enable them on your Galaxy S24. So you lock your phone, light it up, and then long press it like so. There we go. And now when you tap on one of the widgets that are already there, you can choose the various options, even the 
types of font. You can make it bigger or smaller if you wish. And here you can see a whole bunch of options for you. So there's a whole bunch of ways to make the lock screen your own, besides just changing the wallpaper. Want to try out the new gestures on your Galaxy S24? This is how. Open up settings, tap on display. Okay, now scroll down, down, and you're going to see navigation bar, tap on that. And here we've got the choice. You can keep it on buttons, on the button navigation where you have the recent, home, and back button. Or you can try the swipe gestures where everything just kind of works like that. It's up to you. Now, if you do this and you don't like it, you can always switch back just by tapping on the buttons and they reappear. Simple as that. Is your home screen filling up with widgets? Do you want to make them easier to manage? Let's stack them. Creating a stackable widget is really quite simple. So click the widget you'd like to stack another one on top of, like that, and tap on the Create Stack option. Now you can only stack a widget that is the same size as the original one. So here we go. There, let's add the clock. It says Add. And just like that, we've stacked two widgets on top of each other. But where is the second one? Well, it's easy. You just swipe like that and you get to the original widget. And that's how you create a stackable widget. 